Now the chapter begins on one night when it's raining, a group of citizens actually attacking a girl who actually looks like a monster, which they actually are afraid. But now she actually say that she didn't do anything wrong, but she actually is the one who is afraid of the people who are attacking her. And when they actually launch a bullet at her, actually Isuku dodging the bullet to save her, in which he told everyone to calm down, by which they were told by him that this woman isn't a threat to anyone in which they actually won't listen to reason, but we see how she was actually too late to evacuate with everyone else. So she actually just hide at home and actually knew how all of this is going away. But she was actually was apologizing for the trouble that actually happened. So we knew that Isuku told her that everything will be all right, and she that he will actually make everything right again. In which All Might have taken the woman to his car, so he will actually taking her to the shelter. In which we seen how he gave Isuku food to keep his strength up, but we actually knew how he actually been to the tower which he seen where everyone else is but we seen how Daigo actually see how <clears throat> Shigaraki and the League of Villains including the Nomu, Dabi and all for one knowingly how the quirks are going to be a problem for him but since he's actually going to draw out all for one, I mean, one for all's full power, he actually can't stop of any of it. So now we get to see what's going to happen. But knowingly that he actually say that in the one for all world before Isuku actually woke up, they say that he's going to need his help to unleash his full power. In which, knowingly, that the previous holders of One for All actually knew what's going to happen. In which, they actually say that the powers that Isuku need to reach his full power, that is actually their priority to help him get through the tough year. So now we get to see what's going to happen next, which the guy that Isuku is actually meeting, in which we see how the scar actually affecting his face. But now we actually going to see how they're going to help him reach his full potential, in which his brother actually appeared and actually attacking him. But he actually say that he's reaching out for him, which the previous powers of one for all actually merge from the will to resist his brother. But now the hand that he actually reaching out to him actually truly born. So now everyone's actually getting ready to help Isuku moving forward towards the storm as he's getting ready to attack the members of the League of Villains, including Shigaraki. So we knew how the previous holders of One for All is going to help Isuku, which we knew how they're going to help him train his powers, including the fact that they say that he's going to need his help to reach his full power as well. So we're going to see what his training result is and what the time skip is going to look like since the final arc actually happening on the next chapter the week after next week. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment what you think about 
the manga chapter. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr, and my Facebook page. Until then, this is Anime Guide. We're here saying signing out. Laters, and be safe.